thanks to the Bryant cheerleaders for showing some love back here on the show. Randy, a big night in Fairhope yesterday. Yeah, how about that? National news with uh, NFL star Philip Rivers, who retired last year, making his debut as St. Michael's head football coach. The Cardinals taking on McIntosh, and it was all St. Michael as they won it 49 to nothing. It was a family affair for the Rivers. Remember, Philip was coached by his father at Athens High School once upon a time. And there were a lot of rivers on the sideline and in the stands. And tonight was special. I mean, shoot, I'm looking over and dad's standing on the track and mom's in the stands. My boys are spotting the ball. My brother's here coaching. It's like, man, this is come, you know, our nephews and daughters are running around. I mean, it's, uh, nieces, it's a. Uh, it's, it, was, it was that kind of night, you know, uh, just to kind of think, wow, what, what's happened in 25 years? All right, congratulations, St. Michael. They'll be taking on Jackson High next week. All right, here's some scoreboards for you. Hewitt Trustville beats Sarah Land 41 to nothing. Wow, a blowout up in Trustville. Sat Suma and Citronelle. Citronelle gets a big win, 34-16. Over Greenville and Blunt, the Leopards on the road, 14 to 12. Blunt falls in a tough one there in week two of the high school football season. But Randy, another fantastic week of football, and hey, I think it only goes up from here. All right, go to your computers <laughs> and get that voting started for our play of the week, and you'll find out about who wins it coming up Sunday night with Simone Eli on Sports Overtime. Have a great weekend, everyone. Thanks for watching.